in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the extensions which you can use to increase your productivity while studying on YouTube. Now these extensions will work for all the Chromium based browsers that is Chrome, Edge and Opera. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use Opera. So this is how YouTube looks like normally. By the way, these are not my personalized recommendations. I'm not even signed in. So what you have to do is that you have to open Google's Chrome store on whatever browser that you are using. And once you have opened the Chrome store, you have to type in unhook in the search bar. Now, once you have opened the extension, click on add to Chrome and then the extension will be added to your browser. Now you can go back to the YouTube's homepage and click on refresh. And now you will get a clean slate. Now you can go to the extensions tab of this extension and you can see what, what all you can do with this extension. You can hide the comments section. You can also hide the ex, uh, explore and trending tab. You can also hide the subscriptions. So you can just customize this extension as per your requirements. Next up, we have video speed controller extension. Now in a similar manner, you can add this extension to your browser. And what this ex extension does is that it allows you to increase the speed of the video beyond the YouTube's 2x. So for example, right now this video is being played at 4x. So this extension is quite helpful for some of those lectures where even 2x seems to be too slow. Now you can actually go to this, um, go to the extensions tab for this uh, extension and you can change all the hotkeys for this extension. By default, pressing D will increase the speed of the video and pressing S will decrease the speed of the video. Now next up we have add blocker for YouTube. Now this is a controversial add-on because this blocks all of the ads of YouTube and ads are one of the ways by which creators on the YouTube are paid. So if you block the ads, you are essentially choosing not to pay the creators for their content. Now I do not routinely use this extension, but when I'm preparing for an exam, when I'm short of time, I do sometimes use this extension. So that's all the extensions I had for you. Um, use this ad blocker extension very judiciously.